Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Hunter from Out in Astro Photography back here with another video, but a little bit of some breaking news that was as I was just peeking through my email, I get a particular email that came in from Agena Astro this afternoon that uh, kind of threw me off a little bit. I was not expecting it. For those who happen to be in the market for the ZWO AM5 mount, well, there is a brand new version, a 2024 version with uh, some brand new features to the mount that I think some of you are really going to enjoy. So. Taking a bit of a screen share here, you can see this is the email that I got from Regina Astro showing the ZWO AM5N. This is the new 2024 version and it's currently in stock right now, which I will leave a link directly to Regina Astro to where you can find it. But I highly doubt, but by the time I get done with this video editing, it will probably be sold out already because the AM5 is definitely a top seller when it comes to astrophotography mounts in this day and age. But the good news is they will be able to pre-order, so you will go ahead and just be you know, next in line. If you've been in the market for the AM5, now would definitely be the time to do so. So what is you know, the differences between having the AM5 before to the brand new N version. As you see, I am a fan of the AM5. I own one myself, and this is my primary mount when I'm doing astrophotography because it has just been absolutely superior. It's been one of the best mounts I've ever owned. I do have the Ioptron Gem 28 here. It is the one that fell over back in the winter months. I basically only use it for solar imaging because it jerks around so much. I need to get it fixed at one point. But having the differences between these two, this one, the AM5, has been so much easier. So let's get right into the details here with the AM5. And as I stated, it's one of the best-selling mounts in astrophotography because it checks so many boxes. So many of the boxes that people need, like the high capacity, 30, like 33 pounds without a counterweight or 44 with the counterweight, and the pourability. It is definitely much lighter than my Ioptron that I have there with a much less payload, only weighs about 12 pounds, and the precise tracking, zero backlash, and negotiable periodic errors. So what is new with the AM5N? Well, it is an updated version which now has a mount saddle that's integrated. New USB-C and DC 12 volt outputs right on the mount on the saddle itself improved for cable management. Now Pegasus did the same thing like this as well and it's always helpful. I mean, you we did have the output on the mount as well to kind of hook up anything like dew heaters or your ASI Air, which I hope they increase the uh, aperture for because 3 is definitely not enough to power everything that I have on this rig here. Has uh, apparently new Bluetooth capability for improved connectivity. Always very helpful too. I never really use Bluetooth on my device for my AM5 because everything is all controlled through the ASI Air. But this one I like right here. Periodic error reduced from around plus or minus 20 down to plus or minus 10 in arc seconds. So better tracking, better encoders, plus more upgrades can be found here. So let's go ahead and view the whole page here of this. So let's go right into the pictures aspect. Everything looks the same for this kit. You still get that carbon fiber tripod. It does okay. It's nice, especially for portability, but it does suffer a little bit in the sense of, you know, stability and if there is a little bit of some wind. Looks completely the same on that angle, but this is where things get a little bit different, especially right here in the saddle is where we do have the connectivity, looks like, of that 12-volt power and a USB-C which is kind of interesting that they use a USB-C rather than just a normal like type A like USB but maybe now there is a lot of devices 
like especially like dew heaters this will be the only thing i would consider good for it is like the dew heater aspect uh let's see what else everything else is all the same besides the power ports here type c port uh, dc power we'll have to look into the specifics for that to see what kind of amperage it is outputting out from there unless they have a much uh closer view in Everything is all the same precision control lightweight design and it looks like it carries a little bit more of a heavier payload too what I've noticed So let's go ahead and look into the specifics here So looking at things German equatorial mount uh, strainway gear with the synchronous belts Periodic error has dropped, and a periodic error duration is about 288 seconds. Uh, everything is looking just about the same. 15 kilograms without a counterweight, 20 width a counterweight. Mount still weighs about 5.5. Everything seems all the same besides the added power port that is in the uh, saddle itself. And it looks like it is still a 3 amp. So, definitely would not highly recommend if you are trying to run everything for a high-functioning rig like the ASI Air, your filter wheel, cooling your camera, basically trying to run everything of the mount and the ASI Air that powers everything else because you're going to run into some voltage issues, which I've had that happen before, especially when I only had the ioptron mount. I had low uh, voltage issues with that because it wasn't supplying enough power unless you happen to get a 10 amp power uh, AC adapter, which is sometimes recommended. Uh, let's see, everything all of that's the same. To address these issues, the new AM5 Harmonic Drive 2024 edition eliminates the need to counterweights which now has been geared reduced precision to an accuracy of around plus or minus 10 arc seconds. And it can also be switched in between equatorial and alt azimuth for uh, visual observing. Still weighs the same. Things I need to counterweight. Interesting. Now with the low capacity of a Celestron C11, ASAR Plus, and the 5A5, Total is about 12 kilograms without the counterweight. That's interesting. So they did bump up a little bit for this, which is awesome. That's always good to hear. Be able to bring things up. Of course, that's all the same. Talking about the strain wave gears all around. What good latitude it is. Okay, and here's a close-up now of the port. 12-volt, 3-amp output power. I mean, which is really good if you want to just completely power everything for, like, dew heaters. You can use a splitter for that to be able to have it for your uh, regular scope and then your guide scope. The Type-C connector, maybe there is some do heaters that use USB-C now but that's also another option for you and of course you can control it wirelessly through Bluetooth with your phone and yeah everything else seems to be exactly the same so going back to it the cost of it is the exact same as you were buy the AM5 before with the tripod at $2,298 Going through some of the other things, payload still 33 pounds without the counterweight 44 width. And it looks like you still get everything included like the, the soft case, which is a really nice soft case to have, especially for portability. But yeah, this is now a fantastic time if you have been, you know, wondering if you... you if you would make that switch over to the AM5, now you have a little bit more reasons to. Carries a little bit more of a heavier payload. You get a little bit better precision tracking as well because now when I'm looking at the specifications along this, you can see that the 
periodic error, uh, periodic error is less than 10 arc seconds, which is much better, twice as good as it was before. But some of the auto guiding accuracy is between about 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 arc seconds, which is very good. And that's about what it has been average for me, at least with my AM5. Some nights with really good seeing, especially with this payload here of about 26 pounds, I was guiding down to 0 0.3 arc seconds. So it definitely has the capability to do so. And just to have everything, you know, right at the saddle, especially if you're not using an ASI Air or you're controlling it through a laptop with Nina, you have less cord tangle up to use and less things to power right from like a laptop or a power station itself. You can just plug it directly into that port there, which is also very nice. But yeah, this is the brand new AM5N. It's available right now that you could be able to purchase through Agena Astro, and it says it is in stock right now. So if you want to have it being able to be access to this like immediately, I will have a link directly into the link below with my affiliate link. Also helps me with the channel too. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help me out as well. And let me know if this will make you switch over to finally a strain wave gear if you're used to having the worm gears all in all, this is definitely now the time to do so, especially with these new added features. And if it doesn't seem like that 44 pound payload is enough for you, got a little bit of a secret for you. ZWO is looking for solutions for potentially the AM7, which could be released a little bit later on this year. So I hope this helps you, you know, get a little bit more insight to this, you know, brand new uh, version of the AM5. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love doing product reviews and you want me to review a product, I will have my email down below too. We can kind of work something out and got a little bit more update too for those who are looking at the 585 that was released, the most budget-friendly cool astrophotography camera the ZWO released. A mono version is coming, so I don't know when, but this will be my introduction to the mono world whenever that becomes available. So thank you, as always, hoping for clear skies tonight here, recording this on July 1st. So I'll have another video of what we were shooting in the cosmos potentially later on this week. Thank you, as always, clear skies, and I'll see you in the next video.